Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the top 10 things I would have known before having two kids. And in my case, having two kids 14 months apart. The first thing I wish I would have known before having two kids, um, especially having them this close together, as I mentioned before, they're 14 months apart, is that it is hard. It's difficult time management, lack of sleep, lack of resources with help. Um, it's it's very complicated. It, it can become overwhelming. I mean, there's double the doctor's appointments. You know, you have two kids in two different developmental stages, which is really difficult. It can be hard to kind of pacify my toddler as I'm trying to pacify a newborn. Um, my toddler still doesn't understand. You know, you can't crawl over the all over the baby or you can't get on top of mommy while mommy has the baby, you know, and the newborn doesn't understand that, you know, my toddler has needs. So it can be very difficult while managing. I mean, also like my, my time management is very different. I, I don't sleep with like I used to, which causes me, you know, to be later to most things, dropping my son off to daycare late, my, my oldest son, um, you know, just trying to make sure that I'm using my day as effectively as I can with with as little sleep and as little time management that I have because now we're back in the newborn stage where everything we do falls on to his schedule so but it does get better thing number two I wish I would have known is the mommy guilt I feel a lot of guilt having two babies so close together um a lot of times I feel like I can't give my toddler the time that he needs and I feel like I can't give my new more the time that he needs which kind of sucks it does make me feel bad I know that I'm doing the best that I can and I know that my kids won't ever punish me or you know say what a crappy mom you were because I know that I'm putting out my best effort but just as a mom it does make me feel guilty that I can't give my kids the time and the effort that I was able to give you know individually now having two children and my oldest son sometimes he doesn't understand that now he has to split his time he's been so used to being number one in everything from his grandparents to his parents everything here was his it was it was a hard a hard acclimation and i don't think that it was as hard on him as it was on me i think i had more of a problem than he did in all honesty i think i really took it on and i really i was really hard on myself and I was hard on you know my husband I'm like oh we're not doing enough for my first son but I think he's adjusted quite well um he loves his little brother that's like his baby but it definitely the mommy guilt definitely hit me hard the second time thing number three I would have known having two kids this close together that I did not know nor did I even think about is sickness so my oldest son is in daycare um, he was in daycare while I worked and I love the daycare. He still continues to go because I think it's really good for his social development and he learns a lot. Um, the thing, my son comes back from daycare all the time with germs. He's in a class with toddlers his age. He's 17 months now and they share germs like it's nobody's business. It drives me insane, like literally insane. He comes home sick with a runny nose all the time at least a cold a month, if not a cold every two months. And we, you know, having a, a toddler along with a little baby, he's brought his germs in and they are both constantly sick. When my youngest baby came home, at two weeks we had to take him back to the hospital and he had a three day stay because my oldest son brought home a cold that my new baby could not handle and he was hospitalized for three days. So that sucked. Um, I, did, I, I guess I didn't realize that sickness and germs with little babies was so rampant as, as it was because obviously I only had one baby. But it is a pain in the butt. So now we're constantly washing hands, washing clothes, Lysoling everything. But it's, I, I think it's getting better. I, my son is now in the stage where he's not putting as many things in his mouth. So he's not carrying germs as much, my oldest son. So I'm hoping that that kind of reduces the sickness around the house. I hope a lot that it reduces that sickness because this is, it's crazy sometimes around here. Thing number four, I have let my house go. There's no more throw pillows. There's no more lighting up a candle every time the wind blows and, and cleaning. 
there's I literally fold laundry I put it in the basket I put it away if it doesn't sit in the basket for a week and I just try my best to keep up I sweep every night I try and like wash my dishes as often as I can I, I try my best to be as clean as I can but it is hard especially having a toddler and a new baby you know I'm feeding on demand with a new baby and I have a toddler who thinks that the house is his is his playground so I'm just around here like a crazy lady cleaning up but I will say like lately I've kind of just like let it go but I'm not gonna say you can get it would pass a white glove test but it's clean I it, I, I just try not to stress myself about it at this point because there's nothing I can do. And honestly, I don't want to be so busy cleaning up that I forget to enjoy my life and my kids. Like this house will always be here. There'll always be something to clean up. I've come to that conclusion. So I'm not going to stress myself about it. I'm just going to enjoy the moments and just clean up late at night when everyone's asleep. <laughs> Number five, my marriage. I knew that having another baby would add on to some stress in my marriage, but I don't think I realized how much. It's not that we're in a bad place or that things are going poorly. It's just that the time, there is literally no time to give to one another. So by the time my husband gets home from work, he goes to the gym. I still have the baby all day. I have both of the kids. My husband goes to the gym. I'm here. My husband gets back from the gym. I give him the baby so I can get some rest because I take the overnight shift with the baby. It's hard. We like, we're like we like two ships sailing in the night. It's very important that we set aside those five, 10 minutes because if not, we would probably wouldn't even talk to each other unless it was to say, hey, can you get some milk? Or hey, can you get the diapers? Or hey, you know, just menial tasks around the house for the kids. But besides that, um, we definitely have to be intentional with everything that we do, whether it's to get a babysitter or to try and hang out with our other friends or, you know, just being intentional with our time with one another. That's definitely a big, a big thing and definitely hit us a lot harder than I thought it would. Number six, number six is probably the funniest to me. All those gadgets and things that I had for my first baby, I do not have for my second baby. My first baby was in a three outfits a day. He had a million and one Instagram pictures. I took monthly, weekly pictures of him. This baby, he's alive. I mean, there is no fancy gadgets. Anything that he does have that's fancy is from my first son. I've learned, you know, babies don't need a lot. All they want to do is eat, sleep, and poop. And as long as I have a diaper and some breast milk, we don't need all the extra stuff. Is it nice to have that stuff? It is, but it's just not realistic with having two kids. I don't have time to set up the camera to do, to watch him roll over and record it 86 times. You know, I'll be lucky if I have time to even pull out the camera to take a picture of them sometimes. But we're it, it's definitely true what they what they say about the second kid. The second kid, it's just you're just a little bit more relaxed about it. Number seven, I realize these kids are completely different. They are two different people. Of course, when you have them, you're like, oh, they're just two babies. No, they are different people completely. My first son was so calm, so mellow, so chill, never cried. He'd get his immunization shots, wouldn't cry, never got sick. He was just, he was just very different. He's just very mellow. My new baby, my newborn, he is, he has a lot of personality already. He he will tell you what he likes, he will tell you what he doesn't like, and you will know it. He cries, and it's not that it's bad, it's just, it's just different, and I just don't think I was prepared. I just thought it'd be as easy as it was the first time, and it's definitely not as easy, but it's definitely still worth it. Number eight, I wish I'd known to prepare my oldest son to have his little brother sooner, my son does great with him, don't get me wrong, but I think there are times where he doesn't realize that there's another baby and when he is kind of having his little meltdown, he's not used to having someone else here. He kind of acts out a little bit more, he kind of has his little temper tantrums, he crawls over his brother, he just doesn't like it. And I know that's also a part of being a toddler, but I sometimes I think maybe I could have prepared him a little bit better. Maybe I could have got like a doll or I could have babysat a friend's baby just to explain to him that there's someone else here. But for the most part, my son does great. 
Um, he's very, very loving and very sweet to his brother. I just wish I would have done more to prepare him. Um, and maybe not so much prepare him, but prepare the parents more so. I feel like he may be taking it in stride better than we are. Thing number nine, I wish I knew. Or should I say, I wish I took advantage of. I wish before I had the second baby, I'd taken a little bit more time for myself, whether that be mommy dates, spa dates, nails, feet, or just time just to be alone. I really wish I would have thought I was more thoughtful about that because being a new mom, like we all know, it will run you ragged, it runs you down, it's hard. It's a lot, it's, it's a constant motion, it's, it's never stopping. I really wish I would have took more time and more self-care, whether it be meditating, um, therapy, shopping, you know, I really wish I would have done those things because I feel like if I would have maybe done them before, maybe I'd be a little bit more relaxed, which would trickle on down throughout my family. Like it'd just be a more relaxed environment because I was more relaxed. And finally, number 10, it is all worth it. I would not change this for anything. Yes, there are some days I'm overwhelmed. Yes, there are some days where I'm like, this is bananas. This is crazy. And I'm going to walk out the door. Yes, you know, it's all those overwhelming feelings, but I love it. I love being a mom of two boys. I love that they're so close in age because I can tell that that while they're so close, I can tell that they're already starting to like mold a friendship and a relationship. My oldest son, he will come in the door and he will look for his brother. He is not even worried about us. He will hug and kiss all over him. So much so that we have to split them up. He tries to pick him up and my son's only 17 months, but he knows he's like, baby, my baby. He is overly ecstatic about his brother. He even gave his brother the first I love you. And I've been trying to replicate that because I want him to tell me he loves me so bad, but he won't. It's only for his brother. So I guess I just have to suck it up. But you know, I'd rather than be close and, and you know, they have that special bond than for me to be selfish and want the I love you. But I'm really happy that they're, that they're close together and it seems like they're gonna be very close and I'm excited to watch them grow. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you know all the things that I've mentioned maybe can help you prepare for your second baby because it's gonna be a wild ride, but the best ride of your life. So if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.